Lake Combs in Minnesota as their second home could be getting a tax break, on average around 20%. Some Minnesota lawmakers are proposing the tax break to lift some of the financial burden on off-seasonal homeowners. The idea will be discussed in March. Valley News Team's Nicole Johnson sat down with a local lawmaker who says it's unfair. Nicole, what's that all about? This morning, I spoke with a member of the Pelican Lake Property Owners Association. Jeff Peltier owns a couple lake properties and tells us he's doubtful they will get a break, but says any time they can get things equaled out a little is nice. Peltier claims Lakeshore property owners pay for a lot of stuff they never get to use and says a lot of non-Minnesota residents pay taxes they don't have a vote in saying how they're used. Another Lake property owner and Minnesota representative is strongly against the tax cut proposal. He says it's unfair. If we can lower property taxes for everyone, that's great. I strongly support that, but we can't set a priority where we're putting cabin owners ahead of farmers who have seen huge property tax increases of late and homeowners, senior citizens and families. Uh, it's just not right to um, you know, give cabin owners a property tax uh, break first. The bill is still in conference committee in a tax bill. Mark Hort said he doesn't think it will pass unless homeowners get a break too. Mike. All right, thanks, Nicole. Now, coming up on Valley News Live at 6, more about the impact this tax cut proposal would have on everyone living in the state of Minnesota.